Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am back. Today is August the 6th, 2022. We're going to talk about AMC today. We're going to try to figure out is now an opportunity to pounce on this stock because look at it. The market on Friday, August the 5th, 2022, closed up almost 20%, right? fantastic great move we can't say that we wasn't surprised to see it happen because we already expected it to go down just like that is the market still a buy we're going to talk about that today because the ceo adam arun has actually made a special type of dividend that they're going to issue called ape that actually the market took by surprise you know a lot of the people didn't even expect that to go down it's just in a reverse way of trying to issue out more debt. He needs to issue out more shares to try to pay down their massive debt that they have on their books. I'm going to talk about this because we're trying to figure out how to dissect that information. Is that good? Is it bad? And ultimately, the money will tell us how people view what just went down with AMC's earnings. So before I get started, welcome everyone to the channel. This is HFN, also known as HFN News. I create price predictions. I don't come in and try to, you know, look at everything that's going on in terms of earnings, in terms of what the CEO is tweeting about. Are they trying to do any mergers, acquisitions? Are they trying to issue out any special dividends to their shareholders? Nothing like that, because the money ultimately tells us how people feel. So I just look at the price chart. And I want to show you all how to do this as well. All right. So real quick, um, let me talk about my last video for AMC. It was on about three days ago, actually, August the 3rd. You guys can see it. I was expecting the price to go up in AMC anyway. So I'm not surprised to see that the market in AMC on Friday actually closed up about 19 percent. Right. Ultimate TP price for us was around 20. OK, you guys can see it is around 16.86 percent profitability and that run up in less than three days all right if you were to get on the last trade of friday though i want you all to see that there it's around 31 and a quarter percent so that's still a very good move congratulations this is what we do here we are consistently profitable in the market because we are already in position so whether you got 31 and a quarter percent or even 16 17 percent you won that's the name of the game is to win and that is what we do here on this channel right so let me go ahead and take that out now i want to show you all this article real quick from market watch okay went ahead and i wanted to talk about how amc is trying to take aim at reducing their debt burden which is on their books now they wanted to do this last year they, you know they asked their shareholders if they could possibly you know issue out more shares to dilute the value of amc stock the shareholders weren't having it they're like no we don't want to do it so the ceo adam arun has or adam aaron has actually did something creative right they're going to create a special dividend called ape amc preferred equity units right here take a look at that so he's very creative in, into how he wanted to issue out more money he needed to create money and the way that you can create money being a public company is by issuing out shares that's how you're able to accumulate more money now he's going to take the money and try to reduce the debt that they have on the books right so here it is now check this out we understand that he's trying to be creative he's trying to come up with ways to try to bring in more money for amc and this was evidence right here. They're not strange. They're not a stranger to strange, bold moves, right? Evidenced by the movie theater chain, 27.9 million investment in gold and silver miner Highcroft Mining Holding Corp. You guys remember that? You remember when they went ahead and tried to purchase or they did a investment in Highcraft? Let's take a look and see what the stock is doing now. You see that? Look at that. This is this is this was the time to where they made that investment and you guys can see that it did get some hype, right? It was able to pump up the stock. But now look at the price. It's at a dollar, one buck. So was that a fantastic investment for AMC? Um maybe not. I did a video on that as well too, actually playing the weakness into the market in Highcroft. And you guys can see what the price is now. So go back and listen to what I was talking about then for Highcroft as well. 
Now let's get back to this though. Okay, now the AMC Preferred Equity Units, APE, will list on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol APE. A nod to the investors who turn the company into a meme stock who often refer to themselves as apes or ape nation. That's genius. Now, look at this. This is someone who covers AMC uh, from Melissa Reese right here. She's a web bush analyst, right? This is what she says, and I quote, we admit that we are encouraged by AMC's preferred equity announcement as it will afford the company an opportunity to repay its massive debt and make investments investments to improve its global footprint, wrote Webbus analyst Elisa Reese. Okay, so this is a pretty good thing, right? Okay, now the APE special dividend in effect creates a two for one stock split. See, this is... AMC issuing out more shares so that it can bring in more money. Initially, this is what it does. Now, it's not the traditional way of doing a stock split, but it's pretty much it's the same thing. With half listed under AMC and the other half under APE, according to Reese, AMC is pre-authorized, okay, to then issue up to 4.5 billion additional preferred shares of ape to raise cash that's even more dilution right there 4.5 billion additional preferred shares of ape 4.5 billion should this transaction commence we would expect amc to issue a portion of its authorized ape shares for cash to pay down the majority of its outstanding debt thereby making AMC a more attractive long-term investment. Now, what would that do to the stock price though? Right? What would that do? I wanted to highlight this area too because Webbush has an unperformed rating and a $4 price target for AMC. Now, she's trying to pump up how valuable the issuance of APE is going to be and how AMC could possibly pay down its debt. But you're, you're telling me that this particular company has an unperformed rating and a $4 price target though. So it looked like she's trying to toe the line. It looked like she doesn't know which side of the fence she wants to be on. Is she a buyer in AMC? Is she looking to invest in AMC now? Or is she still looking for the stock to underperform? This is why information causes so many people confusion and how they lose in the market. Because when you look at the chart, the market took it quite well. Look at that. The price in AMC still went up. Webbush has a price target of $4. AMC is trading around $22 right now. So, who's winning? The market always tells us how the majority of the market feels. It would never deceive us. Charts don't lie. So we're still expecting the market in AMC to continue to move higher. Now, with all of that being said, I try to place areas on the chart that we can look for sellers, right? We're in a fantastic move higher in AMC, no doubt about it. Can that strength still continue? Yes, but now we can see on this weekly chart that $24 is an issue, okay? 24 now, what I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of, no, I'm going to hold this area here now. So we're going to get rid of this ascending line, okay? We're going to get rid of that. And our attention is going to be focused on AMC holding $20. As long as AMC's price hold $20, we're going to expect the bullishness to continue. Now, I do suspect that we are about to approach on some sellers. People are going to try to come into the market in AMC and take their profitability because it's a great run. We were in position to do that as well. So take a look at this, okay? The five-day chart looks great. The spread of this five-day price bar is fantastic. It tells us that the demand in AMC is still there. Cool, fantastic, right? 44% run up over the last five days in AMC. Look at that. What about on the weekly? Okay, real quick. This is AMC on the weekly chart. Look at that. 
up 52% in one week. So obviously we need to start thinking about people trying to sell their stake. People trying to sell their positions out in AMC. We need to start considering that because to see a stock run up 52% in a week, yeah, people are going to try to sell out. So be prepared for that as we start next week. This is AMC on the three-day chart. And again, this is fantastic for us to see sellers come into the market over the last three days and the stock price still close at the high of the bar. Still lets me know that there's a little bit more juice in the tank for the buyers. The bullishness is still here in the market in AMC. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put on this price prediction in AMC. I'm still going to play the strength into the market, right? But I want us to know that I am seeing $24 as a problem okay so the market may only reach up to 24 and then we'll begin the stages of us seeing the market in amc sell off i want you all to be prepared for that because you're not going to get that anywhere else so let me go ahead and put this on the chart and i'll let you all get your time back okay so we already know that we want price in amc to hold 20 dollars if it does we understand that the buyers are still controlling this stock's price. Okay. First price target is 24. That gives us um, another seven, almost 8% run up in price in AMC. The second one is going to be here around $26, maybe 27. That's like another 21% market move higher. The biggest area that I'm looking at would be around 27 to 28 uh, for us to see the market in AMC run up towards. Okay. So let's see how this works. Let's see how this plays out. But we're in position. This is where the buyers are. This is where the sellers are. We want to see as they battle it out, which one is just going to win. All right. So that is it. It is your turn. I give everyone opportunity to try to go ahead and call a price prediction, a price target as to where they suspect the stock or cryptocurrency is going to go. So leave me a comment and let me know where you all think the market is headed. Make sure you maintain a profitability. Trade different.